Hey everybody, let's make it pop and hey, let's learn a little along the way. Um, this is Learning Unit, Insects and Arthropods. This is a new series of pops for students, for teachers, and for anyone else who wants to learn a little about certain subjects and, uh, and make it pop. First one that we're gonna do is a praying mantis. Ooh, spooky. Just some quick facts about praying mantis. Look what we got. Um, there are over 2,400 known species of mantises. Um, and they're called praying mantises because it looks like they're praying. I mean, look at their posture. They're upright and they got the folded forearms there and they stand really still like a praying. Um, they have really large forearms because uh, that's what they catch their prey with. You know, they pray to catch prey. <laughs> Anyways, um, mantises are really cool, beautiful insects, um, if you're able to see one. And um, so let's make it pop. Let's make our very own pop-up mantis. All right, first what you're going to need to do is download the templates down below. You can print them out onto any color cardstock you like. Print them out. And you're going to see two types of lines. There's a dotted line and a, a solid black line. First, we're going to use the dotted line. We're going to take a ruler and a large paper clip. And we're going to, we're going to line our ruler up along each one of the dotted lines and we're going to press with that paper clip onto the dotted line. What we're doing is scoring. We're, that's where there's going to be a fold on our pop-up. So we're going to do that for every dotted line that we see on all the pop-up pieces. So again, take your ruler, lay it against the, the dotted line and press with the paper clip and we'll score all of those dotted lines. Now, after you've scored all the dotted lines, you're going to cut out all the pieces using a pair of scissors. How do you know where to cut? Well, you just follow the solid black line. So see those solid black lines? Take your scissors and cut along all the solid black lines. And that's where you know where you cut out all the pieces. And if you can see, now these hands aren't mine. These are the hands of my helper, Kirsten. She's really good at helping me with these things. And um, she's cutting very carefully. And she's actually moving the paper to, to accommodate her scissors so it's easier. Now we're going to just pre-fold all of our pop-ups. And since we've scored everything, it should be really easy to fold along all those dotted lines. So this main piece folds just like that. Let's take this small piece. We're going to fold it right here. And now we're going to fold this large piece like this, once down the middle, and then down here on the tabs. Now we're ready to assemble, so we're going to use some white glue, some just regular old Elmer's glue or craft glue, whatever you got available. We're going to see these large tabs here, this one's shaped here, and this one's shaped here. You can actually see on the base page, they're exactly the same shape as those tabs, and that's where we're going to stick them. So let's do it. Let's use some glue and make sure you don't put too much glue within that little gray space. Kind of paint it in there. And then now you're going to see we're taking this piece and we're going to stick it right in place. And we're going to make sure that center line right there is, is lined up with the center of the base page. And see both of those tabs line up? Perfect. And you're going to make sure you press it down flat onto the base page. You could even press it with the, with the base of your glue. Now let's stick this piece in. See that gray area? It actually goes back there. So let's slide it. See that slot just like that? See how I slotted that right there? And you're going to see, see the top of that arm? It fits right underneath where that tab goes. See that? Now we're going to put some glue. See how that lines up? See that edge, that straight line of that fold? We're going to put some glue just in that gray area. Just like this. And then fold the other praying mantis arm on top of that piece. See, it should line up perfectly, just like that. Press it down. Make sure it's glued into place. Awesome. And there we are. We have our very own. Look at that. It's a really cool pop-up praying mantis. Whoa, look at that. Now you can decorate it, you can color it with markers or crayons or, or colored pencils. You can write a story about it. You can write some facts about it. You can learn all you want about praying mantises, which is part of this learning unit, arthropods and insects, or rather the other way around, insects and arthropods. Mantises are insects, right? And um, I hope you've enjoyed this learning unit about the praying mantis. And I hope you've liked making insects pop with me. It's Matthew Reinhardt saying, see you next time. <laughs>